Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to Bowman Cadillac for providing with the Cadillac Escalade. If you're in the market for a Cadillac, you can come check out Bowman Cadillac and they will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But as you guys can see right behind me here, I have the all new redesigned 2021 Cadillac Escalade here. Looking at the front fascia, this vehicle is aggressive. I love the large stance that this vehicle has. This is body on frame, so it does share some components with the Suburban and also with the Chevy Silverado. So it does have that body on frame structure here. But looking at these headlights here, they're a full LED, even on the lower models of the Escalade, this does have an automatic low and high beam. The LED turn signal in daytime running light is this script down here. There's front parking sensors. There's some gloss black trim. I love the large grille here with the mesh finish. There's also the large Cadillac Crest emblem here with a front facing camera. But I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about the redesigned Escalade here. I think it looks super aggressive looking and super luxurious. But looking here at the side profile, the wheelbase here is at 120.9 inches with an overall lift of 211.9. So this is a little bit bigger compared to something like a Ford Expedition and also a Lincoln Navigator, which this vehicle does compete against. So like I mentioned, body on frame type vehicles here in this segment, looking at these tires and wheels here, this will be the rim design that I will go for. Honestly, I love the multi-spoke here with the silver with the light gray finish here. These are a 275 50 Bridgestone tire. They're wrapped in this 22 inch rim design, which looks really nice here with this exterior paint. That's this LED side marker here on the mirror cap and up top. My model does offer a large panoramic sunroof here with these aerodynamic roof rails. But making our way to the rear of the Escalade, but looking here at this pillar here, there's the uh, Cadillac Crest emblem here. But looking here at the rear, there's these full LED tail lights here with an LED turn signal, with an LED brake light in reverse light. That's the Escalade badge right there. That's the Cadillac Crest emblem here. And there's two cameras here because one's for the backup camera and one is for the rear view camera mirror. That's also that silly 600 newton meter badge, which honestly, if I were to own this car, I would just rip the, rip the badge right off. Looking down here, there's dual tip exhausts, also with rear parking sensors. And once you remove this piece here, Cadillac says you can tow up to 7,700 pounds. So really good towing numbers, but it's not best in class. I think the Lincoln and the Ford does have best in class towing numbers. But to open up the cargo back here, you just press on the actual crest emblem there. Once it opens up, it reveals 25.5 cubic feet of space and underneath here Cadillac does give you some underfloor storage and my model does have the AKG sound system which sounds really good you can also fold the seats down via this control here and the seats actually fold down really quick unfortunately the seats are not gonna fold down right now because I have the second row uh, pushed too close but once you drop the second row here, that expands our cargo to 109.1 cubic feet of space. So plenty of cargo space here in the Escalade. Now that GM went with that independent rear suspension, I'll show you guys the independent rear suspension underneath the vehicle. And my model is missing the air suspension. So you can actually lower and raise this vehicle uh, to get in and out uh, as well. But like I mentioned, they finally went with the independent rear suspension. So that's why you have more leg room in the second and third row and also more cargo space compared to the previous generation. Sitting inside the interior of the Cadillac Escalade here, looking at this interior, Cadillac spent the big bucks here when they redesigned the Escalade here. As you guys can see, this interior is out of this world compared to the previous generation. This is American luxury, of course, so really nice materials here in the Escalade. But reaching over here to shut the door of the Escalade, my model does not have soft closing doors, so keep that in mind. But to start out the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. And my model does have that 6.2 liter V8 Unfortunately, unfortunately, I haven't tested out the uh, Duramax diesel, but once the dealership gets one in stock, I will be showing you guys that review. But looking at the materials here on the door panel, it's going to be a nice leather material with some nice stitching. There's some chrome accents here with this aluminum accented door handle. There's three level heated and cool seats, which the cool seat works phenomenal, especially in this 90 degree weather. Over here is going to be window controls, a lock control. It is auto up, auto down for all for windows. This is around 38 inches of screen here in the Escalade you put it all together over here on this screen here this is for the trip computer you can cycle between trip one and trip two where there's a blank page you can also adjust the heads up display my model does have this large heads up display which shows you your speed sign recognition and also your driver's uh, support as well like your lane keeping assist and whatnot uh, but going here you can also access the ar camera the maps once you have an sd card uh, inside the sd slot there's also the gauge there so it will show you this gauge here which is really nice but me personally i would just leave it on the ar camera because that's just super impressive that this vehicle will show you uh, what's in front 
of the vehicle uh, with this camera here, which is super nice. Looking here at the headlight and turn signal stock, there's a one wiper stock right there. There's the paddle shifters here to cycle through that 10 speed automatic transmission. There's the Cadillac Crest emblem here on the airbag cover. This does have a heated steering wheel function, adaptive cruise control, and my model is missing the Super Cruise option. I tested out the Super Cruise before in the uh, CT6, which that car is discontinued. Um, when I tested out maybe around three or four years ago, that I was super impressed with that uh, driver's assistance. It actually beats the Tesla when it comes to uh, hands-free driving because you can actually move your hands around, but you have to keep your eyes on the road because there's this little camera that watches uh, your face here if my model did come equipped with the Super Cruise, which it does not, unfortunately. Over here is for the sync and track, the volume controls, and once you press this button here, the conversation enhancement is on. So the rear seat entertainment, which comes with the 12.3 inch displays and the wireless headphones, you can actually talk um, once you press this button here so that so your passengers can hear you if they have the headphones on so right now my voice is being projected through the speakers but you can turn it on and off if you would like uh looking here my only problem here with the with the escalate is it only takes around eight inches of the screen here with the apple carplay and android auto unfortunately it does not take up the whole screen here so there's a lot of unused real estate here which i think Calac should do over the air update so they can fix this issue here with which i think is an issue in my personal opinion but you can um, get out of that to show you guys the uh, different function like Alexa here, which is super nice. I'll go into the uh, Cadillac, um, going into the Cadillac navigation. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys because there's no SD card, unfortunately. Uh, but going here, as you guys can see, very bright icons. The screen is just super bright, as you guys can see here. So I'm super impressed with the uh, technology that the Escalade offers here. Um, going here. You can also parallel and perpendicular park this uh, SUV here, so, which is super impressive. Really nice technology that Cadillac is offering here. But looking here, my model does have this rear view camera mirror. As you guys can see, the Equinox behind me. If you guys don't like that, you can flip it off. Or if you guys do like it, you can flip it back on. Me personally, I'm going to leave this on the whole time if I was to purchase this vehicle. You can also open up this large panoramic sunroof here, but unfortunately, it does not go into the actual third row. It's going to be LED lights throughout the cabin. You can also open up the tailgate max three and a half quarters or even you could turn it off if you like and you can also fold down the third row via this button here which is super nice no other competitor in the segment offers that feature just a three car garage remote there which is really nice as well uh, looking down here is going to be this uh, digital climate control i'll uh, put in the escalator into reverse just put your foot on the brake of course and press down on the trigger and push it away from you you guys are greeted by this large backup camera there is trajectory with distance markers as front and rear parking sensors as you guys can see here it will show you what's in front of the vehicle as well at low speeds you can also hook up a trailer and whatnot so super impressive uh, camera quality here that's also a top down 360 view here on the side and to put into drives push on the trigger again and bring it towards you and you can go into actual low mode as well because you this does have paddle shifters unlike the other uh, GM uh, siblings in the segment like the Yukon and Tahoe and Suburban this one is the only one that comes to paddle shifters if I'm not mistaken nice materials here to touch very soft materials there's an auto hold function uh, automatic start stop as you can defeat and lane keep assist there's more than nice stitching here underneath the push button start right there there's this volume knob here which is really small so you can't get this confused here if you were trying to uh, turn up the volume or turn it down there's some shortcut buttons here as well there's the back button the home button there's the hazard switch there this is wood trim here and i'm pretty sure that this is fake wood i don't think this is actual real wood here this is why the phone charger there there's two cup holders additional storage that's a usb port with the uh type c port there as well the materials here on the dash nice leather dash with nice stitching as well really good commanding view out of this uh large vehicle here as you guys can see there looking at the glove compartment does offer a large storage in there the seats in here they're supportive they're comfortable and my model does have the akg sound system so there's speakers everywhere throughout this vehicle even in the actual headrest and it's and it sounds uh really nice as well it's the escalate badge here with the nice uh, piping and stitching there. Open up this, it does reveal a large storage. It's lined with felt. There's a type C with the USB port. There's also a 12 volt there and you can remove this tray if you're looking for more uh, storage. But overall, I'm super impressed with the Escalade here. Cadillac, like I mentioned, spent the big dollars here on the Escalade redesigning it. But overall, that's happened to the second and third row. Getting into the second and third row here, the Cadillac Escalade, as you guys can see here, the door opens nice and wide. And my model also has these fixed running boards. You can get a power running board if you like, but keep in mind that will be an additional option. But getting back here, as you guys can see here, I do have a lot of headroom here, even with this panoramic sunroof cutout. Unfortunately, the panoramic sunroof does not go into the actual third row. But looking at the door panel materials, there's some chrome accents here on the door 
uh, the door panel. There's also this aluminum accented door handle here. There's your lock controls. There's a window switch here. It's going to be nice and padded here to rest your elbows down there. It's going to be additional storage and cup holder space. And my model does have the AKG sound system. And there's the Escalate name here in the actual door seal. There's two mat pockets back here for storage. And Calyx says you get around 41.7 inches of legroom here in the second row. I have plenty of foot space underneath the driver's seat. And you can slide the seat forward and back here to give the person in the third row a little, a little bit more legroom if you would like. And it's also a recline function as well, so you can scratch out here in the Escalade. But looking over here, there's some features which includes three level heated seats here. Also your own set of climate control. Open up this, it does reveal two cup holders. And down here is going to be two USB ports. That's also a household outlet. If you go for the rear seat entertainment, there will be two 12.3 inch displays. Unfortunately, my model does not have the rear seat entertainment. You can also get uh, two HDMI ports if you guys have that feature. And like I mentioned, there's this large panoramic sunroof, but it does not go into the actual third row. The air vents are up top with LED lights. But let's get into the third row really quickly. Calic makes it pretty simple here. You can either pull this handle here or you can press this button here. Once you do that, the seat will fold down and press it again and the seat will catapult up. As you guys can see, there's plenty of space to get into the actual, to get into the actual third row here. But getting back here, as you guys can see, I'm climbing back here, which is super easy to get back here in the third row. As you guys can see here, Calyx says you get around 34.9 inches of legroom in the third row, which is really good here. If you guys want more legroom, you have to go for the ESV model of the Escalade here. As you guys can see, I have plenty of foot space underneath this seat, but I could ask this passenger here to slide the seat forward just a little bit. And like I mentioned, there's no panoramic sunroof here in the third row, but there is LED lights back here. Also with the air vents, and there is a Type-C USB port here. Also, there's two cup holders with a little bit of storage there, and you also get on the same side. But overall, Calic did a really good job here with the packaging of the second and third row of the Escalade. Let's take a look underneath the hood here, the Cadillac Escalade here. This has Cadillac's 6.2 liter V8, which is a big block. This makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. It's hooked up to a 10 speed automatic transmission. As the Escalade sits here, it weighs around 5,800 pounds. You can get all wheel drive as an additional option, which is around $3,000, but most Escalades do come standard with rear wheel drive. This can tow up to 7,700 pounds, and you can get a three liter Duramax diesel, which has 277 horsepower. So the horsepower is gonna be down compared to the 6.2 liter, it does have the same amount of torque at 460 pound feet of it. So starting off in the Cadillac Escalade here, this has Cadillac's 6.2 liter V8, which makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. It's paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And Cadillac will offer a three liter Duramax diesel, which makes 277 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. So if you guys are looking for better fuel economy compared to the 6.2 liter, you can go for that uh, diesel. Unfortunately guys, I haven't driven that powertrain just yet. Once the dealership gets one in stock, I will be bringing that review uh, to you guys and Cadillac like, will sell you an extended version here of the Escalade they call it the ESV which basically means you get more legroom in the second and third row and more cargo space so if you guys are looking for a bigger Escalade Cadillac like, will sell you uh, one with a longer wheelbase this one is a short wheelbase so you do get a uh, really good cargo and really good legroom in the second and third row the visibility of the Escalade here is really good you have a good commanding view of the road very large windshield here and the technology in this vehicle is just super impressive you have this ar camera here which displays what's in front of you very bright and very crisp um, my model is missing the super cruise there will be this little bar here It'll, it will light up green to let you know that uh, super cruise has been is ready to, ready to be used but unfortunately since i'm not on the highway um, and I don't have it as well. It can only be used on mapped highways here in the United States, which is around 200,000 miles of highway. So that means someone from, from Cadillac basically drove across the whole United States basically to map out the roads to use the Super Cruise. I have seen other uh, YouTubers or automotive journalists use the Super Cruise function and it's super impressive. It's actually hands-free. It's not like Tesla. If it did have the Super Cruise, it would basically, uh, you can use your hands, but you cannot take your eyes off the road because there's a camera that watches your eyes to make sure that you're basically looking at the road. But it's really cool technology. And my mom does have this rear view camera mirror, which shows you really good out of the rear. So if you guys had a lot of cargo stuff in the back and a lot of uh, bags and people in the back, and you can't see you can just flip the camera on and off as you guys can see right now it's off but me personally i would just leave it on because i think it's super cool and the v8 here it does a really good job of downshifting keep in mind this does have 10 gears this transmission was co-developed with ford so a really good transmission i tested this in some of the newer ford products like the f-150 um some of the uh the expedition as well so 
the, the powertrain, the transmission is really good. Uh, the visibility, like I mentioned, is really good as well. The steering feel here is very playful. You can feel the front tires are, are doing, and this does have the independent rear suspension. So there's no more live rear axle on the Escalade. In the previous generation it was, which is a 2020 uh, model that comes with that uh, live rear axle. So basically the live rear axle was basically eating up the cargo. So there was, there was not a lot, a lot of space for the second and third row, but now with the independent rear suspension, it gives it more of a nicer ride. It feels more compliant. Um, really upscale in a sense of uh, riding uh, quality. It feels really good. It feels very planted as well. But me personally, I would just go for that diesel powertrain because of fuel economy. And I just think that's super impressive for a vehicle that's this large and this heavy for that diesel powertrain to get over 20 miles to the gallon. Don't get me wrong, the 6.2 liter does have decent fuel economy, but if you guys are looking for basically best in class fuel economy, you have to go for that diesel powertrain. Uh, like I mentioned, once the dealership has a diesel powertrain in stock, I will bring you guys that review. But the cabin here is super impressive, nice materials. You have this large heads of display which shows you your driver's assistance. This also has four closure warning with lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring. Like I mentioned, there's this AR camera here which will display what's in front of you. But overall, I'm super impressed with the Escalade. It drives really good and it is an American luxury vehicle that is just super impressive. Starting price here for the Cadillac Escalade is at $85,800. And $95 with the options and accessories, including destination. The Cadillac Escalade here stickers for $116,990. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next review.